Hello world and Education 471 class. Today or tonight, I'll be discussing The Ignorant School Master by Ron Fear. And let us begin. So as a young individual and a student, we are placed into a room which we call it as the classroom. And of course, education is very valuable and it is very important in our lives. But this depends how you define education. When we hear the word education, we automatically think of a teacher lecturing a child in a classroom setting. Now imagine the teacher is teaching the child directly from the textbook. Now I ask you what's wrong with the picture. Well, Ron Sear is here to help us and tell us what's wrong with the picture. No, I'm just kidding. We're actually using his textbook to point out what is wrong with the picture. So first of all, the textbook is a big issue. Teaching Teaching a class with a textbook actually limits the student's thinking process. So what I mean by that is that the textbook itself stops the student from questioning and the rather the student just learns and absorbs new information and they just accept the new information as a true fact. Also, if the teacher just teaches straight from the textbook, then what is the point of that? You might as well just sit at home and read the textbook when you're bored. Now, in order for the teacher to teach and have students to engage, teachers should not be ignorant. As educators, we need to place ourselves in the students' shoes in terms of intelligence and learning. Learning is effective when the child is willing to learn. This will is like a desire, and the will drives the learning to take place. As well, experiences such as hands-on lessons, such as hands-on type lessons, helps the ch uh, helps the child to understand and remember things easily. We need to teach students through emancipation, which is like freeing someone from the from the control of others. This way, we are able to open up the children's imagination and have them to question more about this learning material rather than accepting the information for what it is. We need to avoid stupidification or, in other words, stultification. Everyone's intelligence is equal. It's just that the younger individual's intelligence did not fully bloom. As an educator, we need to minimize the distance of misunderstandings. Being at the student's level of learning and understanding is a, a very effective and efficient way of teaching. So if multiculturalism is taking place in this world, then why can't we have equality in education system too? It just doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> As we open the doors and the world for the children, it is also important to note about the society. It is remember to know that this society can be unreasonable and rational, but remember to tell that the students that they themselves as an individual <clears throat> can be reasonable and rational. And that is all. Bye!